today is country justice. I am I have been waiting for this day. I've been terrorized by a coon on this property for two weeks. It's attacked Maisie. It's been on the back porch getting into all the cat food. It's been my chicken coop picking off my chickens one by one. I've lost nine chickens. Two more today. That son of a I, I finally caught him and he is going to die. I am, it's going to be satisfying. I can't tell you how angry I am to walk to my coop every single day and see more chickens dead and figuring out how this coon got in the coop. That ends right now. I have two chickens left, two. Hey buddy, did you get injured last night? I gotta take a look at you closer. Did you get injured? Oh, you did get injured. Oh no, I gotta take a look at him. No, no, I'm gonna kill this sucker first. There he is. With a carcass of one of my chickens from the other night. Last night, he pulled this back and got in through this hole. He gone. Check out my rooster. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, you did get injured last night. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, I feel horrible. How bad is it? I don't look good. He got you by the neck, didn't he? Hmm? Let me see. Oh, poor buddy. I'm sorry. You gonna be okay? There's chicken feathers everywhere from the carnage over this past week. Nothing, look at that empty coop. <sighs> You're the only girl left. Poor buddy. Look at this, this coon broke out windows, you know? Broke out windows to get in. So I had to put screen over the windows. Just unbelievable. He's dead now. I know something funny. I brought out these to uh, kind of board up the windows. Started today with a grateful heart. <laughs> My heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I was gonna like put it here. <laughs> and put it inside. It's a good place to see it every day. I won't be having eggs for a while. It's the last egg she ever laid before she got killed last night. You know, the thing is, I don't know if that's the only coon, but I just baited the trap again. At least that one's gone. My poor rooster. You gonna make it, buddy? You gonna make it? I'm sorry. Your neck really got it, didn't it? Really don't want him to suffer. I hate to put him down if he's gonna be okay. I mean, I can't really look at his injury. This sucks. 
It is so heartbreaking. I just, I don't know. I do have a little bit of good news. Let me show you. Okay. Here's the good news. Hi, babies. Hi, good morning. Doing good today? Here's some new chickens. Eight new chicks. Yay. I only have one chicken left. I don't know what happened today, but my hen died. I freaking don't know what's going on. I killed the coon this morning, and then I come out here this afternoon. My hen is dead. I don't know if the rooster is still alive but she died. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't see, I don't see any trauma. I don't know why she died. Like, Why'd you die, honey? I am beyond heartbroken. I have nothing left. And he's not, oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Are you okay? Are you gonna live? I feel so horrible. Are you gonna make it? I'm so sorry. Whole freaking flock is gone. This place is empty. Completely empty. <sighs> Farmers are in the field tonight getting stuff done. I need to get her out of here. She was alive this morning, seemed fine. Oh, man. Reset the trap with a dead chicken, so if there's more coons out there, we'll get it. It's just out mowing. I almost ran over this little guy. Isn't that sweet? Little little garter snake. Isn't it pretty? Now, a lot of people like to run these things over or kill them and you know all snakes have a purpose. They're so cool. So don't run them over. Save them. I used to teach with a uh, ball python. It's a really cool snake. I always liked feeding it because, you know, feeding it a mouse in its tank it was pretty cool to watch it do its thing. Let him go. All right, dude. There you go. It's a nice summer day. I'm trying to get stuff done before it gets too hot. So I'm out here early this morning doing chores, getting. Getting my chickens situated, my new chicks, I put them in the, uh, put them in the coop today. I'm still not sure about my rooster. He's, I'm not sure he's going to live yet. I don't know. I think he's, I think his esophagus, his neck got damaged, but I can't look at it. It's supposed to be 80 today, 80 tomorrow. Woo! Hot! And then I got my women's overnight tomorrow. It's going to be a boiler. So I'm trying to get stuff done this morning. 
Nice breeze though. Working off some calories before breakfast. Hi buddy. Lots of good tubbers. Dad's a good tubby. Good morning. Aren't those pretty? Hi. You just want some love, huh? Started it. Okay. All right. So what we have going here is the girls need to maintain their fire for two minutes to be successful. We'll see what happens. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, that's, done. that's for sure done. Good job. She will live in the woods. <laughs> Who's next? Uh oh, don't smother it. Fifteen seconds to go. Your fire also is coming out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Way to go, good job. Yay, she got it. Well, that's better than your last I one. Fire By a lot, yes, yeah, fire redemption, Pamela. Good job, way to go. Wow, oh, pizza. Oh, neat girl. Oh, time to eat. Here's the leeks we picked today. All right, look at this. The food is coming out of the fire, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the jet boil going with Renee. She's having curry, man. Katmandu curry. Nice. Renee's got curry. Ramen. <laughs> Beautiful. A little, little gore. <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. Oh, very welcome. Well, that's a wrap. Another really good women's outing. Good overnight. Lots of great conversation and skills shared. So, very cool. I'm gonna go check on Pamela. So, Pamela had her first solo overnight in this shelter. I did. How cool is that? It was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. I feel really concerned about the alone, especially being used to city noises, that the country sounds would worry me. And honestly, other than the one June bug that got in with me, I had no problems at all. Very cool, congratulations. Thank you, it was a blast. All right, can't eat my apple tree. Can't eat the apple tree. Get going. Thank you. Hey guys. Come here. Come and say hi. No, don't look away. Don't be shy. Come here. I'm in my flower field right next door to my neighbors and they got a couple of cattle out here. I'm just saying hi. They're just so sweet looking. You're so sweet. Look at your curly hair. Makes me happy to see 
cows out here on this lush green pasture. We got all that to roam. Hi! <laughs> Pulling some weeds, looking at what's coming up, what's not. Look at all these buds. About to go. Just endless amounts. Look at that. It's gonna be awesome. This is my you pick flower field. Oh, and our poor barn fell down in a storm last year. There's the chicken coop where all the uh, madness has been taking place with the raccoon. It's empty now. Here's the update. My rooster died. That raccoon killed every single one of my chickens. But right now, waiting for the flowers to bloom. I absolutely love flowers. So, I have planted this flower field. Lots of perennials and just beautiful flowers that people can come and pick. It's just a kind of on your honor system. But the peonies, the peonies will soon be blooming. Otherwise, you know, I plant a few annuals and, and stuff, but uh, we've got herbs, we've got oregano, chives, lavender, basil, spearmint, peppermint, chocolate mint, rhubarb, blueberries, blackberries, and I got a kitty. I see a kitty. Hey, baby. Come here. Hi. What you doing? Honey, look at you. Do you see me out here? Come visit. Hi, honey. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Country kitty with the bright green eyes. Show them your eyes. Here's your eyes. <laughs> yes, yeah, a good girl. Here it is. Come August, this place, July, it'll be just amazing to see all the flowers blooming. Cause I have a lot of perennials, so they're later in the year. Giddies. Look at all these gorgeous Dane's Rocket coming up. And they smell so good. Oh, you smell that? I've got bouquets all over my house. Oh, look at this. Hey buddy. He's a pretty, pretty blue-eyed boy. He's the old man. He's about 13 now. Don't ya? Yeah. <laughs> the original homestead peonies. First blooms. Isn't that gorgeous? Thanks for joining me on vlog 11, guys. I know it was kind of a downer, but there's some maybe uplifting spots, right? Life goes on. All right, this is Girl in the Woods. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, she gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy.